Fossey Frieda by Julia Jarman and Fred Blunt. There was a girl called Fussy Frieda whose mum and dad tried hard to feed her. But it didn't matter what they cooked. Frieda only shouted, Yuck! 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 I don't like cabbage. I don't like beans. I don't like anything coloured green. Her mother tried and tried to feed her, but nothing she cooked suited Frida. She tried new recipes but came unstuck when Frida only shouted, Yuck! I don't like grapes and I don't like cherries. I don't like any kind of berries, raw or baked or in a stew. I don't like purple, red or blue. Her father tried his best to feed her, but nothing suited Fussy Frieda. He cooked her Chinese crispy duck, but Frieda only shouted yuck. I don't like duck or roasted chicken. I don't like all that finger licking. Grandma said that she would feed her. Fish and chips might tempt our Frieda. With fingers crossed, Mum said good luck, but Frieda only shouted yuck. I don't like cod, I don't like hake, I won't eat fish, it makes me shake. Her aunt and uncle came to stay with food from their French holiday, but Frida wouldn't eat or drink. She refused it all and began to shrink. Frida got shorter and shorter and shorter. One day father said, where is our daughter? They found her playing in her doll's house, where Claus the cat thought she was a mouse. Mother cried out, that's Frida, Claus. But the cat had closed his hungry jaws. Was that the end of fussy Frida, whose parents tried and tried to feed her? Well, from the cat there came a shout, help! Yuck, he yowled, and spat Frida out. Give me something to eat, she said. Well, what would you like? They asked with dread. Oh, anything, sighed Frida. Oh, I want to eat and I want to grow. She ate saucy beans and buttered toast. She ate spaghetti. She ate a roast. She ate red cherries and rich brown stew. And Frida grew and grew and grew. And what is more, she started to cook. Stir fry, sausages and crispy duck. Pancakes, pizzas, pasta bake, casseroles and chocolate cake. She's writing a very own recipe book. And she never, well, hardly ever, says yuck.